Hello guys, welcome to DTW Tutorials, welcome. Okay, so in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at some GED math practice test uh, questions on probability and we're going to be solving them together. Alright, if this is your first time on this channel, DTW Tutorials an educational channel on YouTube where we support uh, students with free videos on maths and physics, okay? And also please uh, check the description box of this video uh, to see the links of several other GED videos we've solved in the past and also we have a Facebook group uh, for dedicated to just your GED maths to help you in your exam all right so feel free to join that group to get motivated and if you have any questions also feel free to post on that group and I'm also going to reply you and um, solve the questions for you and explain uh, better for you okay and also um, there's a new YouTube channel which I'm dedicating to just the GED maths it's called um, DTW maths plus okay so where I'm going to start from the basics right from your addition subtraction um, fractions of starting from the beginning okay if you've left school a long time ago uh, that channel is going to really help you so I'm going to drop the link of the Facebook group and also the link to the new YouTube channel in the video description box of this video and also please do support us through our Amazon affiliate link okay link to the Kaplan GED test prep uh, that's the 2019 test prep by Kaplan I would also apart from supporting us it's a very good book I would also advise you grab a copy to help you prepare for the GED test and also uh, for your maths there's a particular calculator that you use and it's a Texas instrument 30xs okay so please support us by getting it through our amazon affiliate link all right thank you okay so let's get on to the questions now okay it says uh question one says andrew is flipping a coin the coin has what two sides one side and another side okay so it says what is the probability that the coin will land on heads twice in a row mm. okay andrew is flipping a coin what is the probability that the coin will land on heads twice in a row? Okay, so it means that uh, Andre will flip this coin twice. So we need to get the, you know, f uh, you know, as I said, a coin has a side, which is the head, and the other side is called what? The tail. It is a probability. And you know, what's the formula for probability? Probability is what? The number of this no is what number i just abbreviated this number of required outcome divided by your number of possible outcome okay this is the formula for probability all right okay so just let this be at the back of your mind okay so it says what is the probability that the coin will land on heads twice in a row okay so it has given us it has given us um, a clue here it says twice okay say andre is flipping a coin we were not told how many times she flipped that coin okay just that's, that's one coin we're not considering two coins now okay one coin all right so it has given us a clue here now that she if the question is asking um what is the probability that the coin will land on heads twice in a row so it means she flipped that coin two times okay so uh the, the first um flip okay is either she gets a head right or she gets a tail you know conditional um probability is conditional it can be this or this okay that's the possible outcome of that of the flipping a coin the possible outcome is either it's a head or a tail okay so if she flips it again she would get a head all right or a tail if she flips it again so what's the combination of the two results all right the combination of the two results will be let's just draw this line here okay this is the first flip and this is the second flip all right the combination of the two results would be uh the first flip which is a head or a tail the second flip if it was a head it means she would get uh the combination of the results would be h a head and a head 
and what a head and a tail okay this is a possible outcome if this if the second flip was a head if it was a tail okay it would be the combination of results would be a head a tail sorry a tail and a head or a tail and a tail okay that's if it's a tail so the possible uh, outcome of results is what for that's we're having here head 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 tail tail head and a tail tail okay so we have what our possible outcome of result is what four okay we have four here now the question says what is the probability that the coin will land on heads twice okay in this uh, combination we just have head twice how many times one times so is that not it so our number of required outcome is just what one all right since it's just head twice here we have head tail we have tail head we have tail tail so head twice is just one okay that's the uh, required outcome of what head twice which is what one so our probability that the coin will land on heads twice in a row is what one over four all right so this is our answer and our right option here is option c question two which is quite similar to question one it says if two coins are dropped on the floor two coins now all right are dropped on the floor what is the probability that both coins will land on heads all right so let's say we have coin one all right and we have coin two all right it says what is the probability that both coins will land on on heads okay so we have to know the total possible outcome okay the number of possible outcome first all right you know as i said formula of probability is what is equal to no of required outcome all right let me just abbreviate this okay over no of possible outcome okay please follow me closely okay and if you have any questions please feel free to drop your questions all right okay so let's get back to the question so it says what is the probability that both coins will land on heads we have two coins so uh two coins you have coin one here we have coin two they are dropped on the floor okay if we have two coins dropped on the floor it's the probability that the first coin can land on a head okay we have a head and the second coin might have a tail okay tail the next outcome is okay we are going to we have to look for the possible all the possible number of what outcome the next outcome is like it can land on a tail okay why the second out, outcome will, 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 might be a head another outcome is it can land on a head okay while the coin coin two can also land on a head and our final outcome is this can land on what on a tail why you can also have a tail on the what on the second outcome okay so these are the possible outcome uh for the two coins if they are dropped on the floor we can actually have a head and a tail or a tail and a head or a head and a head both of them can be two heads and the final outcome both of them can also be two tails okay this is quite logical if you have two coins and you know probability is all about you painting that picture it helps a lot okay you have a coin in your hands two coins in your hands okay the two let's say this side is a head you can also label it. this side is a head and this side is uh, the tail for the this is the first coin the second coin you flip it you can get a head and head you flip it again you can get what a tail and a head you flip it again you can get a head and a head you flip it again you can get what a tail and a tail so this is the number possible outcome of the two coins being what uh flipped dropped on the on on the floor so these are the possible outcomes you can get a head and a tail a tail and a head a head and a head and a tail and a tail okay in our next maybe our next video on probability we're going to be looking at uh i'm throwing a, a die okay or two or a dice okay so you know you have to take probability um slowly okay that's why i didn't um solve about eight questions no take probability is taken slowly so you understand so there's probability in the coins and also in the dial okay that's when you have you can have one or it dies okay so 
here coming back to our question it says what is the probability that both coins will land on heads okay so probability that both coins will land on heads heads both of them we just have one outcome here so definitely we have one out of what or four outcomes okay so our possible number of outcome is what four is that not it that's one two three and four okay and our required outcome is just what one heads so we have what one out of four and our right option here is option a question three of our GED math practice test on probability it says there are 35 marbles in a jar okay there are five equal amounts of different color differently colored marbles what is the theoretical probability of picking any one random color all right question we have 35 marbles in a jar there are five equal amounts of different colors five equal amounts of different colors okay five equal amounts of different colors all right so we have five colors okay and they are divided equally all right, so it means we have to say 35 divided by 5, which will give us what 7. So we have 7 uh, colored marbles of different colors. Do we get, do you understand what I'm saying now? So it means we have like, this is color 1, this is color 2, this is color 3, this is color 4, and this is a color 5. And each of them was what? 7 each. Okay, this is what I'm this is what this statement means now. You have 35 marbles in a jar. There are five equal amounts of differently colored marbles. Five equal amounts of differently colored marbles. So you have five different colored. Uh, you have five different colors. Okay, and the amounts are divided into five. So it means 35 divided by 5 is 7. So you have 7 color, seven of color 1, 7 of color 2, 7 of color 3, 7 of color 4, and 7 of color 5. Do you follow me closely? I hope you, you're with me. Okay, I hope you get this. All right. So you have, do you, so you have 7 of color 1, 7 of color 2, and so on. Okay, they are equally were divided. All right. So the question says, what is the theoretical probability of picking any one random color? All right. Remember, formula for probability is what the no of required. Let me, let's say required as R outcome over the no of possible P outcome. Okay. And what's the number of possible outcome here? Is what thirty five. Is what 35 so you have what divided by 35 and what is know of a required outcome okay a question says what is the theoretical probability of picking any one random color so any one of this random color and each the amount of one any of the random color is what seven okay so you can either pick from color one which has what seven words out, uh, our outcome you can either pick from color two which also have seven outcome you can either pick from uh, color three which also have seven and so forth and so on so our required outcome if it is picked from any random color is what seven and so we have seven divided by 35 and we can cancel out here seven we go in 35 how many times five times so we have our answer as what one over five okay so this is our answer and our right option here is option a which says what one out of what five okay our answer is option a question b says five out of 35 which is wrong question c says five out of seven is wrong this d is wrong and also e is also wrong so our right answer is what one out of five all right so we've come to the end of this video thank you for staying tuned to the end if you have any questions feel free to drop your questions and comment on this video and as i've said earlier i'm also going to treat the uh, topic probability explain it in detail in uh, in our new YouTube channel called DCW Math Plus. I'm also going to drop the link to that YouTube channel in the description uh, box and also drop some other links and affiliate links for you to support us, all right, if you can. All right, so thank you for staying tuned and don't forget, Jesus Christ is coming soon. 
give your life to Christ. You are destined to win in your forthcoming GED math test. Alright, thank you and see you in our next video. Bye.